so in this lesson we are going to talk about area of triangles. So you're going to need your formula sheet with you, so make sure that you have that handy, and we're going to start there, okay? So on your formula sheet you have area of a triangle, and I want you to draw two different versions of a triangle, okay? And make sure that you label them appropriately. So in this triangle, you have the height going down the middle because remember that height is straight up and down. It is not slanted. We saw that in trapezoids and we also saw that in parallelograms and the base is along the bottom. Now this right here is a right triangle so it's already standing up straight and so your height is along the side and of course your base is on the bottom. Your formula for a triangle is area equals base times height times 0.5. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and, in, and draw the example. Now, once you have that drawn, and remember you can pause the video so that you can catch up, let's go ahead and label our height. So the height of this triangle is from top to bottom, and that's going to be 6 feet. The base of the triangle is what it's sitting on, and that's going to be 8 feet. Then let's go ahead and write out the formula. Area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals the base is 8, the height is 6, times 0 0.5. Then you can just multiply all of these numbers together. 8 times 6 times 0 0.5 and you're going to get 24. Now, you cannot forget your units, so it's going to be 24 feet squared, or 24 feet to the second power, because it's feet times feet, which is feet to the second power. So let's go ahead and work through some of those examples now in your actual notes. So example one, the triangle itself is in red. What you see here on the dotted line is just showing you the height. This dotted line is not in any way part of the triangle. It is just showing you from top to bottom what the height would be because remember this triangle is slanted and height is not slanted. So the height of this triangle is five centimeters and the base of the triangle is three centimeters. So then we're gonna write out our formula. Area equals base times height times 0.5. Area equals, so the base is 3, times the height, which is 5, times 0 0.5. When you multiply all of those together, 3 times 5 times 0 0.5, you're going to get 7.5. But your complete answer is 7.5 centimeters to the second power. Let's look at example 2. So here we have another triangle. Our height from the top to the bottom is 48 centimeters. Our base across the bottom is 42 centimeters. Now we're going to write our formula. Area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals our base is 42. Our height is 48 times 0 0.5. Then you're going to go ahead and take your calculator and multiply all of those together. So 42 times 48 times 0 0.5 and you're going to get area equals 1008. But your complete answer is 1008 centimeters squared. Now we have another triangle. This is a right triangle. We have a vertical line and a horizontal line, and we could even put a little box there. So our height is 4.8 inches, and our base across the bottom is 1.2 inches. Now we write our formula. Area equals base height times 0 0.5. Area equals our base is 1.2. Our height is 4.8 times 0 0.5. We're going to go ahead and multiply all of those together. And you're going to get area equals 2.88. But our complete answer is 2.88 inches to the second power. And again, that's because throughout this process when I was doing 
the base times the height, I was also doing inches times inches, which is inches to the second power. All right, example four is on a coordinate plane. So first I need to find the height. Remember, I need to go from the tallest point to the lowest point. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So that's four units. And then the base is across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. So my formula is area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals my base was 6, my height was 4, times 0 0.5. And then when you multiply all of those together, you're going to get area equals 12. But our complete answer is 12 units to the second power. And again, that's because it's units times units, which is units to the second power. Go ahead and try this one on your own. Remember to write the formula. You can pause if you're not done. So our final answer is 68.11 meters squared. We did 9.8 times 13.9 times 0 0.5. Go ahead and try the next one. Okay, so the answer for this one is 400, or sorry, 4,926 centimeters squared. So we did 120 times 82.1 times 0 0.5. And don't forget the second power on your units. All right, go ahead and try this one here. All right, so the answer for this one is 2.4 millimeters squared. So you had to do 4 times 1.2 times 0 0.5, and you got 2.4 millimeters squared. All right, here's one that you have to plot on the coordinate plane.
All right, so the answer to this one is six units squared. So this one might have been a little bit more difficult to find the height. So the base was pretty straightforward, but the height, remember you have to go from the tallest point down to the lowest point. So in this case, you had to go outside the triangle, okay? So I'll clear it up just a little bit here so that you can see what I did. So you have to go one, two, three. And you stop right here because this is the lowest point. So it was three units for the height. So four times three times 0 0.5. All right. Now we're going to move on into finding the missing dimension. So what happens when I give you the area, but you're missing the height, okay? So a triangular yield sign has an area of 390 inches squared. Find the height of the sign if the base is 30 inches. So what do we know? Well, we know that the area is 390 inches squared. And we know that the base is 30 inches. So we're trying to find the height. This is what we're trying to find. So we start with the formula. Area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Let's fill in what we know. We know the area, which is 390. We know the base, which is 30. And remember, we always put things in parentheses. We don't know the height and we know 0 0.5. Now, what we're gonna do is take, since this is all multiplied together, let's multiply together what we can. Multiply together 30 and 0 0.5. So 390 equals 30 times 0 0.5 is 15, and then we have the H. And now you have a one-step equation. So box your variable, divide by 15, divide by 15, h equals, and then do 390 divided by 15, and you get h equals 26 inches. It's not inches squared because we're not finding the area. It's inches because we're only finding the height. Let's look at another example. So if the area of a triangle is 30 centimeters squared and the base is 10 centimeters, find the height. So again, let's fill out what we know. We know that the area is 30 centimeters squared and we know that the base is 10 centimeters. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the height. So start off with your equation. Area equals base times height times 0.5. We know that the area is 30. We know that the base is 10. We don't know H and we know 0 0.5. This is all multiplied together, so let's multiply it together. 30 equals 10 times 0 0.5 is 5. And then we have H. And now we have a one-step equation. Box the variable, divide both sides by 5. This cancels and you're left with h equals six. And so the height is six centimeters. It's not squared because it's not area. We're just finding the height. So example seven, a triangle has a base of 10.2 inches and a height of five inches. Find the area. So it wants us to draw a picture. You can draw a picture of any kind of triangle that you want. I'm just gonna draw that triangle. So it has a base of 10.2 inches, and it has a height of 5 inches. So it says height is 5 inches, and the base is 10.2 inches, and it wants me to find the area. So I'm going to start with the formula. Area equals base times height times 0.5. Area equals, the base is 10.2, the height is 5, times 0 0.5. Area equals, multiply all of those together, 10.2 times 5, times 0 0.5, and you get 25.5 
inches squared. All right, go ahead and try this one. Go ahead and pause the video if you're not done. So the answer to this one was that the area was 95,000 miles to the second power. You needed to do 380 times 500 times 0 0.5, and that's about the square miles, this about about the square miles of Idaho. All right, go ahead and try this one. All right, go ahead and hit pause if you're not done. So I drew a right triangle because the problem said that this was a right triangle. It said that the area was 45,000 meters squared and that one of the bases was 180 meters. And it asked me to find the height. So I started with the formula and then I plugged in my numbers and I got 500. So I have 500 meters is the height of this triangle. All right, go ahead and try this one. All right, so the answer to this one here is 125 inches squared. So when you draw it, you should get a base of 10, a height of 25, and multiply those, those two by 0 0.5. And then don't forget your inches squared. All right, that is the end of this video, and we will do more practice with this in class.